Noah decided to go with me tonight. Our wagon. Our wagon. We, we forgot the wagon. wagon. <laughs> Macy's. What's this one? Toki Doki. Toki Doki. Something tells me that's probably a good purse. <gasps> we just opened Pandora's box. Ermenegildo Ermen Zegna. That just sounds expensive. Okay, it's Friday night, and you know what I do on Friday nights. Well, I haven't done it. I haven't done it for a while. But I go to the swap meet, and I'm usually with my buddy, Sunny Las Vegas, but Noah decided to go with me tonight. And because of that, we got a little a little leap ahead of Sunny, because Sunny can't leave until his wife goes to work. He is a awesome husband, is, a, is an awesome husband to his fabulous wife who lets him have this crazy reselling life. And so, Sunny can't get here till later, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But we can get here early. But we can get here early, while there's still some daylight. Show them what we got, Noah. Show them what we're trying out tonight. Where's our new little gadgets? We have gadgets to use tonight. And I'm like, I'm excited. So even if it gets dark, we have, we have lights. We have headlamps to wear when it gets dark. So we got it, we got it covered tonight. All right, Noah, let's get in there and see what we can find. Let's get shop done. Let's do it. Here comes the money. All right. I'm ready to rumble, Noah. I'm ready, ready to, to rumble. rumble. This is like the little ghost town row. There's just nothing down here. Walk. There's trees. There's, there's trees. I like trees. I like trees too. I like green my room doesn't say that enough <laughs> all right okay we're gonna kind of start at where we usually end at because it's the darkest area so we want to hit the darkest areas first uh, and then hit our friends that have lights in their booths last so here we go Oh, this had a Ron Lee figure on it. It's just the base. Just the base. Pretty man. It's Disney stuff. Shoes. I see a squirrel. Oh, it's a Webkin squirrel. Actually, it's a chipmunk. It's a chipmunk. He's cute. Not a squirrel. Not a squirrel. Oh, it's kind of dark in here already. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's leaves. Okay. Little Mickey. Oh, he's got some weight to him. You an older Mickey piece? It's a uh, by applause. Hmm. I need to start stocking up for another. What not Disney sale? We're still putting stuff out. Yeah, take the stuff. Ooh. Toys. We've got a bunch of toys. What are you finding? A little rust troll. I, 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 I'm I haven't the cars. studied the trolls for a long time. This one in particular. This is a very squished car. I don't think it's supposed to be that uh, squished. Are these little Mario Kart guys? They are. They're not that old though. They're like, oh, that's 2020. It's not old at all. Oh, is that, um, who is that? I don't remember. But this is Yoshi, right? That's, that's Yoshi. Yoshi. Luigi. Shy guy. Luigi. Mario. Mario. But we don't know who the turtle is. But we don't know who he is. How do we not know who the turtle is? No idea. We got... Mushroom. 
Oh, look at Yoshi riding a motorcycle. All right, all right. Nothing else here. We're in the Barbie and doll section. I see Woody. Oh, it's kind of a dirty Yoshi. And Danny's found a Yoshi. I see a toad. Oh, these are from Fortnite. They are. Everyone always comments why I call my mom Danny. It's just for the camera. Always just for the Trust camera. Trust me, he calls me mom. Well, I've heard it a few times on the live streams where I call her mom. I'm a normal kid. Mostly. Well, well <laughs> mostly. that's debatable. Danny is searching through a lot of plushes. Then we're going to the little table in the middle. Some action figures. Oh, he's reversible. He's a little reversible guy. Like He's happy and then he's sad. Oh, Noah, you know what we didn't get out of the car? What did we not get? Our wagon. Our wagon. We, we forgot the, the wagon. wagon. Okay, that feels better. I can't believe we totally forgot that. I'm just so not used to just coming here on my own. It's all good. We got this. All right, I'm in one of my favorite booths. And the first thing I spot is a really, really cool pelican. So I think we're already starting to pile because I also so see awesome. these really cool bunnies. I know, aren't they awesome, Noah? And they are also wood. Now they came from Holiday Home. They were $30 originally. He does have a broken ear though. You know what I really, oh, and let me just correct. Okay, all right, all right. On my last video, I said something about Easter being the next big holiday. What my brain was really doing was saying the next big holiday after Christmas for resellers. But that part didn't get out my mouth. It went through my brain, but it didn't come out my mouth. So uh, I sounded like I was just a little bit behind the times there, I know. Look at this guy. Also, wood. VIP home and garden. Skeleton head. I mean, he's a skeleton, but he's not a ghoulish skeleton. He's, he's kind of a happy skeleton. So we're gonna put him in the pile too. Let's see. It's an interesting little jar. Somebody made that one. Because I'll probably throw some more Halloween stuff into my next, maybe even my next whatnot sale or my next live sale. Who knows? I'm trying to get down here. Oh, it's a scrub top. It's a scrub top. What are you? Australia souvenir tea towel. I'm not sure how desirable that one would be. Look at this dog, Harvey the Great Dane. So cute. I kind of have a thing for Great Danes. I want one. I want one again. These are sand dollars that uh, didn't make it and are now decorative sand dollars. Oh, I see, I see pencils. These are Statler. That sounds like a pretty decent brand. All right, all right. Let's put that in our pile too. Let's see a bunny peeking out there. Yarn, oh, that's some soft yarn. That's nice. Peacock jewelry holder is pretty cool. That is a very, very, very dirty squishmallow. There's a little anime pillow guy. Oh my 
gosh, I don't want to hear that going off every five minutes with, yeah, yeah. Peanut would love it, but I wouldn't. <laughs> For those that have been inquiring about little Peanut, she is completely back to normal, eating all of her dry food again. You would never know anything happened. I'm kind of leaning toward putting these in the pile if I could get them for the right price. So we're going to grab those two to go in a Disney whatnot sale. Lots of crafty, oh, unicorn ducks. Oh, they're not the squishy ones though that Mikey would use for um, the Jeep duck thing that he does. I always look for those for him. Because it's a Jeep thing, I guess, where you leave a rubber ducky on other people's Jeeps. In case you're wondering where Noah went off to, he got some food. And he's over there munching and eating a little bit of dinner. Yeah, okay. Look at the uh, Halloween confetti. It's kind of fun. Oh, tomatoes. Little tomatoes. Mini veggie tomatoes. They do bring me a little bit of joy, I'm not going to lie. This is a uh, Mickey and Minnie. It's not good quality at all. Peppa Pig. Oh, green tomatoes or little apples? No, those are little apples. Okay. And froggies, froggies. light. I just bought some of these at Home Depot. It's a magnet, magnet mount. Is it rechargeable or does it take batteries? Because I just bought some of these, literally just bought some of these at Home Depot. That's funny. What are you eating over there? Fries and chicken tenders. Oh, chicken strips. Chicken strips. Yum. And water. Water. I do miss buying storage lockers. I used to do it back in the day. I did it a lot. You know what? These are some cute little Disney items. If he will give me the right price, I will take these and these will also start up my Disney whatnot sale. So we're gonna grab those and put those in the pile too. Peel and stick fab fur. What? No way. Why do I think Rachel would really enjoy that? I wonder if there's any more. Let's see if there's any more fab fur. Wait, are those? <gasps> these are soft duckies. Ooh, these are soft duckies. Okay, I'll get these for Mikey. I'll give him, what is that? There's six, he can, he can duck six Jeeps with that. Cool. I like finding things for my friends. I really, really, really do. I'm a, I'm a giver, and it just brings my heart joy to see somebody be happy with the thing that I picked out for them. So, but I like. I mean, I don't want to just give people stuff to give them stuff. You know, it's like for me, part of the thing is that it's something that they really appreciate. So, sorry, mermaids only. Oh my goodness, I will get that for Carrie. Speaking of. As I am, as I am filming this, she comes back in two days. Adhesive tack. You know what? I think this would be good for her to use for her briar horses too. It's kind of like a museum putty kind of thing, I think. So we'll put that in the pile too. Fun stuff, fun stuff tonight, but we need to start focusing on resale items. I'm kind of getting off track, just buying fun little personal stuff. But there's a lot of fun little personal stuff here tonight. It's kind of a fun little table of schmush. That's a keychain? That's a keychain. Oh, I kind of like it. <laughs> no, no, Danny. No, no. Put it, put it back. Put it back. Don't eat it. 
looking for a year. <laughs> Best before. Oh, it's still it's still in it's still in uh, code. Little mini mouse. Oh, I found more. I found more river duckies. Hello, kitty. Little uh, Stitch guy, Disney Parks. Boy, the price of the Disney stuff has gone way, way down because like there's so many people buying it and selling it now. Unless you get like the vintage ones, the older ones, something like super special. I will get some brushes for Rachel. World of Dr. Jart. I know nothing of Dr. Jart. Ooh, you know what? That is the best, best kind of feather duster there is. So I'm gonna put that in the pile too. Lots of cameras. I miss my good old camera days. What's that? I wonder if Noah knows what that is. Some kind of a camera mount kind of a thing. A spinning computer. I don't know what that is either. I do not know of what these electronical things are. It's kind of a nice uh, fanny pack right there. Coach. Boy, I can just feel the quality is just not quite there. I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no. Not coach. Le sports sock. A le sports sock. Kind of a tote with uh, jungle animals on it. Kind of like that. Kind of like that a lot. Let's see if it's clean on the inside. Yeah, yeah. We're going to put that in the pile too. Macy's. What's this one? Toki Doki. Toki Doki. Something tells me that's probably a good purse. Toki Doki. But you know what? The zipper's broken. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. The zipper is broken. <laughs> I believe. Head sweats. Kind of cute. What's this one? I don't know what that is. What is that? ID. It's a backpack purse, too. Hmm. I don't know who ID is, though. I just don't know. Let's see what this one is. I got Noah checking out the electronics over there. Ah, oh, it's just a case for the switch. No switch! No. It's a camera lens. Oh, it's a camera lens? Some of these can be really, really expensive. Yeah, they can, but I just don't know a whole bunch about it, and it's not really my niche. Oh my gosh, look at this. This looks like it was somebody's wedding thing. It's the Star Wars, so it's the little Lego, mini Lego figures in there of uh, Princess Leia and... Uh, I, come on, what's his name? Why can't I think of it? Luke? No, that's, Luke is her brother. It's the one who... She, yeah, Princess Leia? Yeah, it's Princess Leia and, and Chewbacca's guy. Um, what I, I remember. What's his name? Put it in the comments. Oh my gosh. Anyway, it's them and then somebody made a yeah, okay. Ooh, that's a fossil watch. Oh no, it's a fossil clock. It's kind of a nice little fossil clock right there. <gasps> Look. It's just an empty box. Ooh, with a little 
duster thing in it. We're gonna grab that. Sports cards, I don't do anything with sports cards. I have no idea if those are real. Got a lot of wear though. What are you, what are you playing with over there? Pew, 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 pew. And then what are these? What are these? 2017 Whiz Kids. Look at that. Look how many there are. Holy moly. Oh. Superman. Where's Batman? I just need a Batman and a Superman for Angel, the low life LV. That's a lot of little figures. I know. They're they they're Whiz Kids. I know nothing of Whiz Kids. I hope it's not something I'm going to pass by that's worth like, you know hundreds of dollars because some of this stuff some of this stuff can be but well, it's, if it is it's a score for someone else it's not my thing ray dunn merry christmas this? looks like a mixer of some kind of cuisinart a 200 watt motor yeah for smoothies oh it's for smoothies oh Chardonnay Go, the board game? What? For wine lovers, moms, and other shameless people. Wait, the classic board game meets dirty charades. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. No, we'll leave that. See, he's a gruesome skeleton head. Like, I'm not, I'm not into him. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Another meow, tripod? Meow. I do not need another tripod, but thank you. What did you find? I found Rex Specs. And I'm wondering if these would fit Daisy. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're in here. They're dog, they're dog uh, sunglasses. Or, well, just a shield. Well, it's not even sunglasses. Oh, now it's not all in here. It's just a fancy dog. It's not complete. Dog glasses. Well, that's a bummer. Dog glasses for dogs that don't need glasses. <laughs> I was gonna get them for Daisy. Because, you know, Jordan would put them on Daisy. They're probably expensive, They look too. a little bit big for Ozzy or Peanut. You think? Just a little bit. What did you just find? I don't know. A bunny. A bunny bowl. It's a bunny bowl. Does it have an maker on the bottom? No, nothing. There's a hat. Cody James. Uh, see, it was seventy dollars when yeah. it was new. No, we can't. We can't really see the logo. It says there Cody James. Here, what do you think? It looks nice. I don't recognize the brand. They don't. They yeah. Those look rough. Those are rough. But I see a chicken. A cute little chicken, and I see oh. another cute little chicken. I see something better than a cute From chicken. Cos oh, look what you found! Oh, turtle. He's very, very cool. Yes, he's very, very cool. Okay, he's going in the pile. And then I did see the elephant, I did see the little elephant ring holder. I'll grab him too. That's a very, very nice. Noah's finding a light. Let's see if this has a name underneath it. Oh, it does. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's the seller. The seller. It's a nice, it's a nice bowl. soup with this. You can make soup with that? You don't oh with the ladle? You don't make soup with the wooden bowl though. No. You crazy kid. But I could make it with a ladle. Are these empties? Oh it's Pandora empty boxes. Can you open that for me? We just opened Pandora's box. 
there's something I'm never gonna need. Here's a whole point of sale thingamajigger, but this is, we already ordered ours. We've already got ours coming. It's already contracted and paid for. I've heard that the clover systems though are not that great. Yeah, you get used to that, mister. You're gonna be my cashier. My boy and his masks. These are Gucci. They've got, look at, they've, they've got some wear to them. Yep, he works for me now. It's probably the real deal, too. They feel like the real deal. Those are, they're so soft. Golf balls. More shoes. Ermenegildo Zegna. That just sounds expensive. And they're in little, oh, and they feel expensive. Those are soft shoes. Wow. So, so soft. Wow. I wonder if sunny Las Vegas will be grabbing any of these hats. I just don't know. I just don't know. Just when I think I got him figured out, he changes the stuff he's looking for. It's okay. Keeps me on my toes. Keeps me on my toes. Ooh, more nice shoes. Mag, Mag Nanny for Neiman Marcus. Alright. I think probably going to be about done in this booth. All right, so my whole little bag of goodies, 40 bucks, which is exactly the number I had in my head that I wanted to pay. Okay, so the saga of poor little Jack. Um, for those that were on my live on Friday and we talked about it, I know I just showed you the new guy, uh, Sebastian, back here, who is this ginormous hermit crab. Uh, but Sebastian's turned into quite a little problem because I came out the other morning and I caught him eating Jack. Uh, he was pulling his little spines out and you can see Jack has a little bald spot now and we weren't sure if Jack was going to make it. We're still not completely sure, but we are, we are hopeful because Jack is actually moving and alive and that's a good sign. So his initial shock has worn off 
and he will grow back his spines. Uh, so as long as he starts eating again and can just kind of overcome the trauma, he'll be okay. So yes, he's back in his box, but now it's not jail. Now it's his ICU. <laughs> he's in his ICU bed, uh, which as soon as we take this guy back to the fish store, um, Jack can come back out and find where he's comfortable and happy and can eat. So um, this guy, he's got to go back. He's got to go back. He needs a tank without little creatures that he is going to hurt. Yes, right. Don't you agree? You want him out of there too, buddy? I know. I know. They're, they're asking that he go away too. All right. We'll, we'll return him. There he is. He's, he's all sucked up in his shell. Uh, he knows he's in trouble. All right, we're gonna go take him and turn him in. All right, we have traded in a hermit crab. I totally forgot to get the camera out and show you what we got, so I'll show you when we get home, but we've, we've traded out. So I have had some people asking me to give a little bit more information about how you upkeep an aquarium like this like what's the process um, so this tank right here is two months old and it took us a good six weeks before we were able to add any fish and the reason for that is saltwater tanks have to go through a cycle and that cycle makes sure that there's no ammonia in the water which is deadly to fish you just cannot have fish live if there's ammonia in the water. So we got through our first initial cycle. And then every time you kind of add living creatures, it it boosts certain things in the water. There's nitrates, there's nitrites, nitrates, ammonia, and all of those things kind of work together in a cycle. Like the 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 phos is it phosphates and nitrates take care of the ammonia uh, so you want trace amounts of those and you don't want any nitrites and I still get confused about what's what on all of those chemical numbers but um, but it's it's just all a beautiful cycle now this tank here has been running for a year and so the whole system is working very well together and all of the the numbers are just doing crazy good and the only thing that we're having to watch in this one is our alkalinity because a lot of these corals pull alkaline out of the water. So we have to kind of add some in and keep the balance here. But this is a really happy, healthy, not quite a mature tank yet, but it's on its way to being a mature tank. And everything is super duper thriving in here. Whereas now this tank is so brand fresh new that everything we add is going to change a little bit of the dynamic and so we got to go slow and we got to go through some of the the different things in this tank so i hope that helps understand but anytime you bring in a new fish and this is true whether it is salt water or fresh water you have to float them in the water to bring their water here to the same temperature as the water that you're putting them into or you will shock them and they may not survive. So that's why they're sitting here floating. We float them for about 15 minutes and then we'll open the bags and we'll actually add some of this water into the bag to mix it so that then they can kind of acclimate to the little bit different chemistry of the water. So we're adding our little Clarky clown who we are hoping is gonna become really, really good friends with the other clown that's already in here and clowns are very particular and they can fight uh, so we got one that is slightly smaller so that he's not a threat oh there he is he's hiding back there he's hiding back there so hopefully these two will do what's called pairing up and one of them I know this is crazy one of them will turn into a female because that's how they do it they just they pair up and then they decide who's going to be the girl <laughs> like, and then they'll and then they'll live happily like these two over here are paired up and a happy couple yes so if we were to put another clownfish in there they would they would probably kill it they would fight they would be mean so clownfish are just that way 
And then we got some more cardinals, which are very, very peaceful fish. So these three little guys will just live happily in a little school together. That's why we got, they had three and we got three. And then this, you'll see, this is just an absolutely gorgeous fish. They call it a liar, liar tail hog. And again, it's another very, very peaceful fish, uh, but he's got really big teeth because he will eat little uh, crabbies but that's okay because this is a predator tank. We are fully expecting this to be a predator tank and that some of these little other creatures in here may end up food. Oh, and, and little Snappy here. He's a little snapper. He's in the grouper family. He's going to get really, really big, probably fairly quickly. So that's why we got him really, really small. And and he'll pretty much get along with everybody, but anything that he could fit in his mouth and eat, he probably would. So we'll have to be careful what we add as he gets bigger. Okay, I think it's about time to let these guys loose. Okay, release has been a success. The three little cardinals are very, very happy. They're already eating too. Always put food in when you're introducing a new fish. Um, before you introduce them so that the other fish don't feel like their food source is threatened. They get kind of full tummies and he's a happy guy. I don't know where the new clown went yet. They were kind of dancing together. Oh, there the new guy is hiding. He's hiding under here. He's trying to just stay out of trouble, keep a low profile, but I think they're going to be fine. They kind of looked at each other and they they did the dance and he said, I'm the boss. And this one said, okay. And then this beautiful guy, now you can see him. Isn't he gorgeous? He is now officially the most expensive fish put in the tank. You don't even wanna know how much he cost. <laughs> but this is our hobby. This is what we do. Yes, beautiful. Yes, you like your reflection, don't you? You do kind of like yourself. Yeah, you do. Funky little teeth. I know, he's great. And he's a very, very peaceful fish, despite his big old hunkin' little tusk-looking face. He will be a very, very peaceful addition to the tank. Okay, buddy. Settle in, settle in. Oh, we gave Jack a little shell to cover himself, and now he's got a little rock with algae, so he's got a food source. And uh, we're just going to keep an eye on him.